Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. It's actually Sunday today that I'm recording this. There's a reason for that. Debbie and I took a staycation uh, here in the Isle of Man. Chance to just get away from what we're up to um, and recharge our batteries. And found this great little, just over here, do, 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 little ground floor apartment. It's beautiful. And I've always loved Port St. Mary. It was where my father was brought up. It's where my ancestors come from. And it's such, such a cool little town. And truthfully, the Wi-Fi sucks, which is why I'm recording this on Sunday. You'll be watching it on Monday. I had no hope of being able to upload this today. But Debbie and I just walked the streets and this is a very old town. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of years old. And I was coming alive by the rocks, by the stores, remembering town when I was a kid, delivering oil to different properties, which are now just residential apartments. And my aunt was telling me a story about my great grandfather who ran a hotel here. And back in the day, he wanted to install electricity. Mm. But the lady who owned the hotel went, no, it doesn't need it. Gas lamps are fine. So at 60 years old, he built his own hotel. If you see it there, big, uh, bit further over, but further over, right over there, just about, just about there, the Point Hotel. He built it. My great aunt Edith ran it. And then my aunt Barbara, Uncle Derek, they ran it. It's now sold, it's apartments. You know, the world has evolved. And I think so many people in marketing are still pre-COVID. They wanna be post-COVID. They don't know how to change their marketing. And this hotel here, this was a stunner. I remember delivering oil to this when I was a kid with my dad. It's been closed for 30 years. How many businesses are closed right now? It's just shocking. But at the same time, there's a beautiful world. I mean, this is Chapel Bay Beach. I mean, it's one of the nicest beaches on the Isle of Man. Nobody knows about it. Well, they do, but they just don't come this far because it's too far to drive to Port St. Mary. I kid you not if you live in Douglas. We've got to change this. we got to change mentality. And it really got me thinking about why did I start We Make Stuff Happen? Was it just that I was needing to make some money? Yes, but no. I really needed to do something that was speaking inside me that told me I had to do it. It's been 16 years since we, uh, we started pounding the pavement looking for business. And the reality of it is, it's been an amazing journey. We're now a team of great people from all over Europe. I'm about to be walked by a lady with a lovely looking dog. So just making a video, it's all good. <laughs> hey guy, hi. And, um, I guess my first love is small businesses. I talked about this over the last few weeks of just how seeing small businesses fail just breaks my heart. And there's so many things that I know I could do about it. And it's 2021, 20, almost halfway through. And I built a great team. And truthfully, we're permanently at capacity. We have more work coming our way than, not that we know how to do with this. We, you know, we pick the clients that we want to work with. We make it happen. But man, the team is almost redlining a lot of the time. So we've just hired, decided to hire three new people. We've got a, an IT manager, we've got a copywriter, we've got a WordPress designer all about to join. We don't know who they are yet. Actually, the IT manager, we do. He's hired, he's awesome. The other two were still in the very early stages of advertising. Why are we doing that? Because there's more people that need our help. I know how to make money, but you know, life isn't always just about money. Life is about I have to think about it. Life is about purpose, living your passion. And if you make profit, awesome. But it doesn't have to be huge profit. It could be just enough to make you comfortable. And if that's okay for you, I'm okay with that too. You don't need this 24 hour a day hustle or side hustle or whatever it was. Remember when people used to have a second job? Now it's like, oh, I have a side hustle. It's a second job. You know, my daughter has a second job. That's okay. She's trying to make ends meet in Calgary. Proud of her for doing it, right? So I'm kind of making a stand today in the city of my forefathers that we need to do more. As a company, we need to do more. And we're hiring to be able to do more. We're hiring to be able to bring people into our culture. Maybe, maybe you don't even know what our culture is, but you know, we're very much a family first business. Um, Debbie and I run it equally together, always have done. Quite often it's always me, but in the background it's Debbie. A lot of the decisions are made because of what we've discussed and her intuition and they're always being the right ones so we're 
coming out this week in a, in a new way. We're hiring some more people so we can do more. We've got social media training. We've got website building. We've got SEO. We've got business mindset. That, you know, I've been in business and as an entrepreneur, my goodness, you know, best part of 40 years. I know what works. I know how people work. I know how you can get people to want to buy from you. I also know how to not do things, you know? I'm really finding this work-life blend and you know, even though I'm making a video on a Sunday, it's because I've been thinking about it all day and I just formulated it enough that, you know, I do it. I never have scripts when I make recordings and uh, I'll teach for an hour once a week. I'll never have a script because I know my craft. My craft is to help you live your passion and your purpose. So just coming up on six minutes here. If, uh, if you're looking for some help and we can help, you know what, we will. But hold tight, the world's starting to open up. I think June is gonna be a watershed here in the UK as to whether they can really open up or whether this uh, new variant is really gonna knock everybody back again, who knows. But uh, I think the vaccine's getting out there. I think a lot of people are getting this herd immunity. It's gonna be good. This fall is when it really all happens. I really do believe that as we go into the third quarter of 2021, life as we know it will be gone. Life as we should know it, as we do things properly, will begin and we'll be ready. So I hope you're having a great day. I wish you a fantastic week. I pray that uh, you stay safe and well and that your family and your employees and your customers equally so. And we will chat to you again very soon. Take care, bye-bye.